To all our viewers, special greetings in the very precious name of Jesus. I am Heather Aldridge and I currently serve as the Senior Pastor at the House of Transformation in Acton, West London and I'm also the Corporate Prayer Director for the Church of God of Prophecy here in the UK. Today is a new day and I thank the Lord for the opportunity to share a very short word of encouragement on our key thought, repositioning through prayer. Two of the most powerful tools that we have is to be able to fast and to pray, not through any earthly intermediary, but directly to our Heavenly Father. We have assurance according to Hebrews chapter 4, verses 15 through to 16, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathise with our weaknesses, but one who is in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. So let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25 also says, he is able to save to the utmost those who draw near to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. In other words, intercession for us. So we understand to reposition is changing from to a change in to. And we serve a God that desires us to change into his image as we walk in the light, as he is in the light. So what next? As the lockdown lifts, there is a need for repositioning. Our worship and coming together when the lockdown is fully lifted cannot be as it was prior to March 2020. So I'd like to leave an additional thought. What about repositioning through brokenness? Brokenness is about dying in order to live. Except there be death to the flesh, there cannot be any spiritual life. Brokenness means giving the Holy Spirit complete access, complete freedom and complete control over every area of our life so that he, God, can mould us and make us pliable in his hands. From Bible times right through to this very day, every individual that has ever been used by God as a vessel of honour has been broken because God does not pour his anointing onto flesh. He only uses broken vessels. In our repositioning, I believe God is looking for a set of people who will make his heart glad. People whose hearts are broken by the things that breaks his heart. People who are interested in God's agenda and not their own agenda, but who want his will to be done here on earth as it has been declared in the heavens. It is one thing to know God's will for our daily lives, but it is another to surrender totally to him and to his will. We are being challenged to live beyond the surface and to dive into the depths of God's ocean. Hidden treasures such as gold and silver or precious stones are not found on the surface of the ground. You must dig deep to get to those precious um, treasures. So God is calling us to dig deep because he desires to impact our lives for good, for our good and for his good. I need the Holy Ghost power. You need the Holy Ghost power. We need the Holy Ghost power. And without brokenness, there can never be any real spiritual power in the life of the believer. Or indeed, the church is powerless without brokenness. We have put much over the years in organising programmes and events and using up precious human and financial resources, which have been birthed, I'm afraid to say, in the flesh, and they've not yielded lasting fruits. 
But let us put aside our own assessment of ourselves and get onto God's weighing scale and allow him to measure and to rate us accordingly. It is God's desire to use us more than he is using us now. But we limit him because we're not broken. So today, think about what God wants for your life and allow him to reposition you through the spirit of brokenness because there's no struggling in the school of brokenness because brokenness transforms lives. It transforms people and brokenness transform nations. So let us pray. So Father in heaven, we thank you and we bless your name and we give you thanks. And Lord, as we have presented this thought before you, we ask you that you'll help us to align ourselves to your divine um, agenda in the name of Jesus. Help us to walk in your timing and help us, Father, to cooperate with your plan and purpose in the name of Jesus. Lord, we recognize according to your word in Psalm 51 verses 16 and 17 that you do not delight in sacrifice. Otherwise, I would give it. You are not pleased with burnt offering, but the sacrifices of God is a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. So, Lord, we understand that brokenness is not a feeling, but it is a choice. Help us to submit our will and to make it our choice today. Lord, your word declares, who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart and does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. So Father, you are willing to receive us. And Father, because you are willing to receive us, we submit ourselves to you. Bring us into the realm of your power in the name of Jesus. Bring us into new dim dimensions and give us divine inspiration in your name. Upgrade our minds by the power of the blood of Jesus and assign your angels as security escorts and supernatural security to keep us in your perfect peace. And Father, we are mindful that as we submit ourselves to your spirit, your leading and your guidance, that your perfect will be done. And we are mindful too that all the praise, the honour and the glory belongs to you and to you alone. In Jesus' name, I have prayed and we say, Amen. So God bless you. May he keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. And may this day be your day of repositioning through brokenness. God bless you.